fatty liver. So what is fatty liver? Why does it occur? What can we do to prevent it? How to diagnose it? Is what we are going to discuss in this video. But to know more, please do read the detailed blog which will be given to you in the bio. So fatty liver is a deposition of fat in the liver. This can be just stay as it is or it can cause inflammation then progress on to causing something like cirrhosis. It could be because of excessive alcohol consumption in which it is called as alcoholic fatty liver or alcohol-induced fatty liver. And then there is a second entity which is called as a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. That means the alcohol consumption is less or, in a, or nil, but yet fat is depositing. So why does this happen? The other conditions are increased cholesterol, increased triglycerides, diabetes type 2, obesity, and now we have other risk factors such as obstructive sleep apnea, which is snoring, choking while you sleep, and sleepiness in the day. All of this together are part of this condition called as the metabolic syndrome, and that's important because it makes an individual gets predisposed to develop a cardiac disease or a heart problem. And the fatty liver can progress to cirrhosis. So all in all, this fatty liver should be picked up early as far as possible. Of course, first is prevention, then early detection and reversal. What are the common symptoms? Sometimes it may not cause much symptoms at all in the initial stages. You may just feel a little fatigue or some little upper abdominal discomfort, and it gets picked up by abnormal liver function test in which the enzymes start rising. Next is, of course, an ultrasound, which can show you the size of the liver, the architecture of the liver, and you can go further for things like fibroscan, MRIs, etc. So what else to be done? Uh, for treatment is to manage the toxin. If it is alcohol, it should be immediately as far as possible, take help if you need, I will stop it or discontinue it. And if it is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, exercise, diet control, adequate sleep, and that is treatment of sleep apnea, all these factors together can definitely help to arrest the disease and to reverse it. So I do hope that this will help people to understand this entity fatty liver and what can one do to prevent it and to reverse it or stop it progression. Thank you for your attention.